Hello children, this is the second session of the social science class. In the previous session, I was discussing about the various important features of the Harappan civilization like the town planning, the citadel and the granaries, houses. Today, I shall continue this session with the Great Bath. The existence of the Great Bath is an indication of the ritual of community bathing on religious days. The Great Bath was 55 meter long and 33 meter wide and it was the most striking building discovered. The Great Bath consisted of a swimming pool which had stairs on either end and a drain to remove the water. There were several small rooms and galleries where people could change clothes after bath. And this great bath was a fine example of the engineering skill of the people at the time. The main crops grown in the Harappan period were wheat, barley and uh, perhaps the crop rice was also known to them. Beside the uh, food grains, people consume milk and milk products. They also grew fruits and vegetables. And the people used wheat and barley to make bread. The people of the Harappan civilization, they loved to decorate themselves. Regarding the clothes worn, the men wore a sort of lungi around their waist. They had also a shawl thrown around their soldier. Their physical appearance shows that Men grew beards, beards and had long hairs. Women, they used to have complicated hairstyle and they probably wore something like a lehenga and used a sheet to cover themselves above the waist. As I said that the people of the Harappan civilization loved to decorate themselves. Jewelry was very popular with the women and they used to wear heavy jewelries made out of metals like gold and silver, beads and precious stones. Lips were also painted and surma, which can be known as uh, eyebrows, kajals, was also used for the eyes. The people of Harappan civilization used both wool and cotton to make clothes. They also reared a variety of animals for providing meat as well as milk. Even the animal skin and hair were used for clothing and the presence of the horse can also be seen from the discovery of the terracotta figurines and bones. Regarding the craft production, the people of the Harappan civilization worked as potters, carpenters, bricks makers, jewelers and stone cutters. They use standard weight and measures for regulating trade and commerce. They used to have trade with countries like Afghanistan, Iran and Sumer. Ships were the means that were used for trade and exports. And from the findings of the seal that was being found in Babylon, it shows that the Indian merchant settled in this land, lands and carried on trades. Amusement people enjoyed dancing, singing, hunting and cockfighting. Children were fan, fond of playing things. Marble was popular with boys while girls played with dolls and puppets. Regarding the sculptures and seals, the seals were in the form of square pieces brilliantly curved with pictures of animals and trees that also had some inscriptions but it is not possible what was to read what was being written on them as their inscriptions is yet to be deciphered but historians are still making an attempt to decipher them the bronze figure of the Dancing girl is one of the examples of the Harappan art. Regarding the weapons, the Harappan people were familiar with 
weapons like axes, daggers, mace and spear. And these weapons were made of metals like copper and bronze. Uh, in the finding, the historians did not find any big forts which shows that the people of the Indus Valley civilization were peace-loving people. They were also God-fearing and they worshipped many gods and goddesses and they believed to bestow happiness on children, good health and prosperity. Lord Shiva with three heads of Pashupati, which is the name of the Hindu god, was worshipped along with the trees and animals. The dead were burned and the ashes immersed in the water. Regarding the writing and inscriptions, writing scripts, the only evidence of the Indus Valley people having a script is that their seals bears inscriptions. Now we will carry on with the fall of the Harappan civilization. The reason for the decay or the downfall of the Harappan civilization is still not known but according to the historians they suppose that the city might have been destroyed by some natural calamities like flood or some epidemic diseases or the city might have been attacked and destroyed by some foreign invaders but the real reason for the fall of the Harappan civilization is still not known. Now we come to the Indus Valley and the modern Indian civilization. The discovery of the Indus Valley civilization was an indeed exciting discovery for the people of in India that it is a model for millions of people even today. Their town planning, city, roads, drainage, art and craft had achieved an excellence that would be the envy of even the modern city dwellers. Next, we come to the pyramids of Egypt. Children, in this chapter along with the Harappan civilization, there is also a short description on the pyramids of Egypt, which is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world and you are all familiar with it. And the pyramids of Egypt is one, is the only one to remain mostly intact even till now. The Great Pyramid of Giga is a huge pyramid by, built by the ancient Egyptians and stands near Cairo that is in Egypt. This pyramid is built of bricks or stone and when it was built it was covered or encased with white limestone that form a smooth outer surface but this has now disappeared. The Giza pyramid has, is the most famous pyramid where three kings and their chief queens were buried. And these pyramids were supposed to be the tomb of the kings and queens. Even the dead bodies of the that novels were preserved or embalmed using some special substance to prevent them from decaying which took around 70 days and the funeral process took place only after this process was completed after 70 days the egyptian they believed in life after death and due to this belief along with the dead man objects like food foods clothes ornaments Musical instruments were buried along with the dead body. Sometimes even serving men and women were buried because they felt that the dead men might need their service in the next world. The poor people were also buried but they were not buried in the pyramids but in holes in the sands and the relative of the deceased person supplied the best that they could afford for them. The Great Pyramid of Egypt is guarded by the Spinis. The next topic of discussion after the Great Pyramid is the Megaliths. It refers to the tombs using two upright stones topped by a horizontal one. Like the Egyptians, the Megalith 
megalithic builders they did not put the dead bodies inside the grave immediately but the dead bodies were exposed until most of its flesh had rotten away offering of foods and pots tools were left at the entrance of the tomb for the dead to use in the next world and such uh, megaliths were erected in europe from about 400 4500 bc even in india the practice of erecting megalithes have been found in northeast deccans as well as in kashmir the objects and skeletons found in the burial place tell us much more about the past skeletal studies tells us that we can infer whether the skeleton is that of a man or a woman the bodies of the chiefs and noblemen were often buried in large clay jars in the courtyard of a big house and one such house even had a granary such burial places have been found at imam gaon so that was all in this lesson if you have any queries you can feel free to give me a call or send me a message and in the next session that is for the third session we will be doing the question answers